What's up, YouTube? This is Draw My Life by Elijah. Get out of here, Jacob. You're not in it yet. Elijah G. Oh, and before I start, I'm Mexican, you guys. Just to let you guys know. So smiley face to that. A lot of you guys think I'm white, but I'm not white. All right. So it all starts off in USA. I don't know if you can tell if that's USA or not, but this little star is Riverside. And Riverside's in California, if you didn't know that. And um, that's where the magic happened, man. Well, not where the magic happened, but where I was born, at least. So it, it was all started from this hospital, which was called Kaiser. And I totally spot that wrong. So let me just get rid of this whole thing because that was horrible. And it wasn't a church. That was a hospital, by the way. But um, it started there at that hospital. And so I'm taking you guys to my mom. And this is my mom giving birth to me, right? I wanted to draw her face because her face is giving birth to my face, which I'm thankful for. Thank you, mom, for my face. Anyways, this is me with a peanut head, right? And I don't know why I have one hair sticking out. Like, I wasn't born with one hair out. I don't think so, at least. But anyways, what had happened was, while I was in my mom's womb, this is me in my mom's womb, the umbilical cord was stuck around my neck, and the blood couldn't get to my head. So, it caused, like, this little, like, defect thing. I don't know what it's called, but uh ended up having me, like, a little peanut head, and that's me right there. So... It was pretty crazy, but everything was cool, man. All they had to do was just cut the umbilical cord. So there's a umbilical cord, they just cut it, and everything was good. I was good to go, so smiley face to that because I'm still here and everything's good. So there was this crazy story that I wanted to tell because it's just like, it. it's just a crazy story. So what had happened was my mom is sleeping, right? She's like totally knocked out because she gave birth to me and like I have this crazy peanut head. So she's like all scared. So she's just thinking about it, sleeping. But this girl walks in, right? And she's like dressed up as a nurse, you know, I'm sleeping. And she totally has the heart eyes for me. And she's like, oh my gosh, I want this baby. I don't know what was up with me, man. Like, I guess the cone head was too irresistible. And so this is like a close up on this this crazy girl's face, right? Like she she's super crazy. She didn't even have hair on the top of her head, but it's cool. You know, she didn't really care about it, but she takes me and she wants to go to the exit like she wants to take me it's crazy so she's trying to take me right and it's like whoa like i don't know what's going on but whoa, man crazy there's an the enter sign so i'm taking you guys now outside of the hospital and this is my dad right he's walking in i don't know what he was doing out there i don't know if he was smoking or whatever but he's mad right because my mom's yelling at him because she's in birth and stuff but he's walking inside the hospital at the same time this crazy heart eye girl is walking out and she's walking with me in her hands luckily my dad like runs right into her and he's just like what the heck's going on like is this a joke he doesn't know what's going on he's like um what do you do with with my son so he calls somebody right he's like uh what's going on My dad, luckily, he called somebody and uh, people started rushing over. But there's my dad's arm right there. He has a little bit of muscle, you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's all right. He was working out a little bit. But then I take you to my little arm right there. And he had a wristband on and I had a wristband on. And luckily, everything was cool, man. We got the okay to, like, take me because his name is Ivan. My name's Ivan. I don't know if you guys know that. And all the numbers were correct and stuff. So that was totally, like, crazy. And uh, as for the heart-eyed girl that I'm drawing right here, um, yeah, I don't really know what happened to her, so let's just get rid of her. I'm pretty sure she's in, like, jail for, like, trying to kidnap me. Anyways, take you back to United States, and I take you back to this little star, but now it is Hemet. Hemet is also in California, for you, those of you that don't know. I don't know if you guys know or not, but, yeah, that's also in California, so totally, dude. <clears throat> that was my mom. I totally drew her like way taller than she isn't. She's not that tall, so I had to like redo it. Anyways, this is my little family now, right? Like they had me, um, but before they had me, they had my brother, older brother Renee, my younger, uh, my older sister Melissa. So I drew them. That was us at the time. And at the time, everything was going good, man. We had this nice two story house going on for us. Like, Right now was a time where everything was just nice, you know, like my my childhood was good. I had a lot of friends, you know, we had like this nice car going on for us. We had a lot of money. Uh, everything was just, was stable. 
And on the outside, you know, everything was looking cool. Everything was good. Like, my mom and dad were happy. But on the inside, like, everything was just going bad, you know. So they decided to split up. And from there, we totally ground downgraded. Like, downgraded, 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 downgraded houses, downgraded everything. And we ended up going to these apartments. And they were two-story. But we lived on the bottom apartment. And... It was crazy, man. Like, the transaction from, like, going to, like, a big house to a small house is pretty crazy. But there's my little family right there on the right. Um, the thing what the thing was, uh, it wasn't just my family. Now, it was with my grandma because my grandma lived there. But she said that we could live there with her. So, that's my grandma right there. And that's her son, Victor, which is my uncle. They were living there as well, too. So, not only was my family living there, we also had my grandma and her son. So it was like all of us in this one little house. And it was crazy, you know, it got crazy sometimes, but um, everything worked out for the best. And you know, my family was happy that we had somewhere to stay. I was a little sad, you know, so I put a little sad face on me, but it's all right though, because everyone else is happy, you know, we have somewhere to go, but I don't know. Oh, and we still live there today. I still live there today, so that's cool. But now my grandma and my uncle, they moved, Um, but I still live there. So that's like a little fun fact about me. So, as we were living there, me and my brother and my sister started going to the school called SJVA. And it was a K-12 through school, so we all got to go there at the same time, which is pretty cool. Because I loved hanging out with my brother's sister. And, uh, yeah, there you go. I changed my look a little bit because I didn't have one hair in, like, elementary school. So I put some sunglasses on me just to make me look a little cool. But my brother started playing football. And he started playing for this team called the Eagles. He played Eagles, and his best friend played Eagles, which his name was Antonio. And they used to play these games at a field called Tiger Stadium. Tiger Stadium is a high school called SJHS, San Antonio High School, and they used to play there. So I'm drawing these bleachers right now because the bleachers was like a big part of where my life kind of changed. So let's take you a little closer on the bleachers so that I can explain this is honestly like where things started getting a little better, you know, like um, I finally get to meet, wait for it, wait for it, that's not a girl. This is Jacob Mejia, my best friend, dude, what's up? Finally met this guy, man, so let me just call him in here real quick. Jake, let me get him in here, what's up, dude? So now I'm just gonna draw this real quick because you know I want I want you guys to see how we looked when we first met each other. And that is us right there. Dang man, I had the sunglasses, I had short hair. He had long hair at the time. You always wear his hat backwards. And he was like, Hey, do you wanna play some football? I was like, Yeah, dude, let's do it. Check mark. He was like, That's good, good to go. And he was the one that actually told me to play football first. So shout out to him. And he feels in my heart right there. Cool, man. That was that was some uh, bromance colored in my heart. But we got close, like, all of a sudden, you know, like, everything just clicked good. So this is my mom, and this is his mom. And my mom was just talking to his mom, like, hey, you know, SJVA is a really good school. SJVA was a school that I was going to. And she was just telling him, like, Jacob should go there. Jacob should go there. Jacob should go there. Like, it's a really good school and all this stuff. And at the time, while she was, like, talking to Jacob's mom, which is Nora, uh, I was going to SJVA, and he was going to SJE, which is San Jacinto Elementary, I think. I'm not even sure. But my mom ended up getting to him, and he moved to SJVA with me, which was really cool. You know, I was we were both happy because we both got to go to the same school. Like, we are best friends. It was, it was a cool moment in our lives. That's us. He still has long hair, too, by the way. He had it forever, uh, but it was a private school, so Jacob really didn't like it. He didn't like the private school type of thing. He wanted to like go out more and like have more like more friends there and stuff. But he ended up sticking it out, so it was cool. Um, he went there in second grade, so that's us right there in second grade at SJVA, and everything was going good, man. You know, like we didn't have the same teachers a lot, but. We still always got to see each other at Winter's House all the time and stuff. So it went from second grade to third grade to fourth grade to fifth grade. And then sixth grade came along. We were still at SJVA, right? 
and everything i thought everything was going cool you know but i guess he was kind of getting tired of the private school life and so what he decided to do he started to leave me and go to a school called Monta Vista Middle School, MVMS. It was a public school. It was right next to SJHS, which is the high school. And so he goes there, and he gets his haircut, man. So, like, he's looking all good, has his haircut and stuff. But while he's doing that, I'm over here looking all tore up. I'm like, dude, my best friend. Like, oh, man, this sucks. I kind of want to get out of here, too. So that's what I do. I, like, get on this old-school-looking phone, and I just start calling up my mom and dad, and I'm like, Mom, can I, can I please move schools? I don't want to be here, you know? Like, I kind of want to go to a public school, too, with Jacob and stuff like that. And she's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, I get even louder, like, put the exclamation points. I'm like, come on, Mom, please, please. So, boom, she totally, totally makes it happen. Like, my mom's legit, like, should be, like, the best single mom. Like, if there was a word for that, she would totally get it because she was a beast. Anyways, we went from SJVA to MVMS to SJHS. That was like our little time span. So we went to elementary all the way to high school together. Right now we are both seniors. So totally cool, man. Now we're just gonna give you guys like a little run through of, all, of how we looked, like the evolution of us through our drawings. So this is, um, this is second grade. And as you can see, I had like the bushy eyebrows. I was wearing sunglasses. Jacob had his long hair with his hat backwards. And I had like the Goku hair because I totally didn't know how to do my hair back then. I was just trying to copy my brother because that was a thing back then. Well, it still is right now. But then we went to middle school, right? And I still got the long, I still got the big old bushy eyebrows, but I got short hair. And then Jacob has his short hair too now. Like he t finally cut it and we're like, hey, it's it. But um, he doesn't really know what's like in his middle school stage. He didn't really know what to do with it. He would kind of like just like mess it up and stuff. I don't know, but. It was cool back then, you know? It worked for us. And then now, this is, we're drawing how we think we look right now. So this is the drawing of how we think we look. And um, yeah, so there's Jacob right there. And this is me, I finally got my eyebrows done, right? I think I'm, I'm looking all good, like I have my braces on. But I totally forgot to draw my glasses because I have glasses now. And um, that's how we look right there, yeah. That's at SJHS, that's us right now. Jacob has some pimple problems, but it's cool, man, because I got pimple problems too, hey. But ever since then, we have been inseparable. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but yeah, man. Best friends, ride or die, the end.